The RGL grenade launcher might be the single best weapon in Modern Warfare Zombies, so in this video, we're going to fully max it out. We're going to take it all the way to tier 3 pack and get it legendary rarity. We're going to test it out against giant hordes of zombies. Then we're going to go into the tier 3 zone, test it out against tier 3 zombies and even the mega abomination. And along the way, we're going to unlock all the camos for this bad boy. If you want to see any more weapon testing videos like this one in the future, make sure to unlock that subscribe button. Oh, the range on this bad boy. So starting off, the first thing we need to do is get PhD because uh, I don't want any accidents and when it comes to explosives and zombies and me uh lots of accidents happen so we need to take some precautions to make sure there's no accidents here luckily there's a method we can use to get phd for completely free and i like free so if we come to the top of this building right here on the manor we're gonna come up here we're gonna get on this and now we're gonna flop Hear some music playing, a little bit of rift opening, and there is some free PhD. Thank you, good sir. And now we can shoot the rocket launcher close range. However, oh, this one doesn't even really explode close range. You know, you know, PhD might have been useless, but we, we, you know, it's a little too late for that. All right, maybe when you pack it. And speaking of pack a punch, that's our next stop. Doof, doof, doof. Oh, what? Do I am, I am so far away. This, okay, this might actually be really good, at least for tier one zombies. Um, I think we've already answered the question, but let's go pack a punch it to make it even better. All right, pretty pack a punch machine. Make my weapon even better. Oh, yep. So I'm glad we got PhD because now that it's pack a punch, it explodes immediately on shot. So uh, we could do damage to ourselves. So that's a good thing we got this. So we got a horde of zombies and now we don't. Okay, time for a science experiment. Let's get a bunch of zombies together. Let's hoard them up real nice and tight. Real nice and tight. Duck and weave, duck and weave. All right, single file line, single file line. I want all of you together. There we go. Big group picture. All in the middle together. All right. So now let's shoot one bullet. <laughs> this is only tier one pack. Okay. In this video, not only are we going to grind out the camos, I'm going to get this max pack. And then we're going to head to the tier three area because this is, um, dude, this is fire. You know, if you're just trying to farm a bunch of kills in zombies, even if you're not even trying to get camos for this, this is going to be the move. Oh, don't worry. I'll clear the site. You can land chopper. I got my own personal mortar team going down. Doot, doot. There's an insta kill, but I'm pretty sure we don't even need this. Okay, all in a pile and all gone. Wait, how did the one... Okay, well, two of the zombies live. Not anymore. They're gone. Entering new zone, tier two. All right, let's step it up a notch. Let's pack a punch this bad boy another tier higher. And then we take it higher. Rock down to Electric Avenue. In our back pocket, we've also got the big PKM LMG. For this, we've got to kill five mimic. So if we see a mimic, we got to pull this thing out. Sounds easy enough. Give me the pack a punch. Tier two, baby. Oh, cool. So tier two pack, but um, cool. It looks like this server is no longer a server. Oh, are we getting, okay. Well, all that work for nothing, baby. Yep. Okay. Uh-huh. Yep. Was someone doing the sentry gun glitch? Okay. Okay. Well, cool. Okay. Take number two. Okay. But this time we're taking shortcuts. I'm not rebuilding back up. I'm, we're, we're just, we're drinking it all. We're going to go ahead and pack it tier one. We're going to put shatter blast on it. Wait a minute. If this works like I think it does, this is going to be so simple. Can we destroy the pimples with the grenade launcher? We can. Okay. Yep. 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 Coming through. No big deal. Just clearing a stronghold like it's nothing. Oh, there's a cyst there. There's one. Oh, there's a mimic. Oh, no. I need to kill. Okay. Well, I was supposed to. Okay. <laughs> we weren't supposed to kill the mimic with this, but, um,. Yeah, this is actually really good at opening these. Wait a minute. Oh, there's a car. No, no, no. Get him, get him, get him. Ugh. Come on, come on, come on. No. All right, we're going to hunt him down. No one escapes me and my RGL. Yeah, I see you, buddy. I see you, buddy. I'm coming. Just you wait. We've got a whip. Your days are numbered. All right, we got to cut him off. He gained a lot of distance on us, but not for long. We're going to meet him on the bridge. Zombies, no. Oh, is someone else chasing him down? Bus take shortcuts. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. All right, it's go time. Okay, switch. No, no, on the roof, on the roof, on the roof. Ooh. Okay, well, that was less dramatic than what I wanted to be. Doesn't matter. Your days are numbered. Yeah, get out of the vehicle. Get out of the vehicle. Dude, this thing does... That is the most indestructible car I've ever seen, but it's gone now. Oh, but it's gonna blow. Whew, it still hasn't blown up. Let's let's not let's not blow up with the car. Okay, there we go. Give me this. Okay, let's test how fast we can clear one of these with an RGL. So we enter it. Uh, just kind of look for the sis. Just kind of spam around. Okay, this one's got two parts. We're gonna end the other one right there. Is one right there? Is one over here? Okay. Oh, all right. Well, we missed one. There we go. Wait, where's the last one? Hello, RGL. You're letting me down. How do we miss one? Oh my. Okay. <gasps> There's a convoy. Okay. Round two. Round two. Nah, convoy. Yup. 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 Okay. Yeah, these are the toughest vehicles I've ever seen. 
So this is really good against zombies, but when it comes to vehicles, surprisingly, uh, the RGL is not good against vehicles, which is, you know, a little backwards, but... Yeah, it is what it is. Maybe if we pack a punch it a little bit more, but... Oh, oh, another convoy. All right, let's put on the... Okay, let's upgrade this to the orange tyranny. Let's see if that makes it any better. Honestly, really not. Upgrading it didn't make it much stronger against vehicles. But hey, we don't got to get anywhere near that. It's still super good because you could just stay back and just mortar the crap out of all the enemies. Like, they're not hitting us because we're so far away. And it's just, just raining down mortar fire on them. Yep. Yep, and the entire convoy's gone. Didn't even get shot. Oh, Mimics! Okay, we need those. We need those for this gun. We need those for this gun! Okay. Oh, shoot. And I just spilled. I just spilled my drink. Oh, I, da, 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 da. I'm making a mess. I'm making a mess. We're taking L's here. Uh, I should probably weaken with something else because this is not an upgraded weapon. Will this kill it? No, it won't. All right, get it one hit. Get it one hit. Oh, no. No! Oh! Bye-bye, Mimic! Was that worth spilling my drink? Not even in the slightest. Am I going to clean it up? I, oh, God. Oh, the Mimic's killing the mercenaries. That's sick. That's sick. But, uh, Mimic, I appreciate your support, but uh, I need you. I need a camo challenge. And uh, unfortunately... Oh, no, 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 no. Rip, Mimic, bro. All right. We just come in here. We're going to find some cysts. RGL. Oh, close quarters combat. These are usually pretty scary for me to go in, but having an RGL that you can just shoot at your feet makes clearing buildings so much easier. Although it's not going to help us with the fact that we no longer have a gas mask. That could be an issue. That could be just a tiny bit of an issue. You know, I'm a little scared to get this to pack a punch tier two because last time the server crashed right after we pack a punch it. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. All right, so far so good. All right, tier two pack and the server's still alive. Good sign. Boop. Oh, a mercenary camp. It'd be a shame if someone just rained a bunch of mortars all over your entire camp while you were shooting at me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dude, I love this weapon. Th this is probably my favorite weapon I've used in zombies so far. I mean, it's not that even it, that it kills quick. It's just you're so safe. I don't have to deal with any of the dudes shooting guns at me. I can just sit back and let the mortar do all the work. Oh, there's a mimic. There's a mimic. Mimic, I need you to get one shot. Is it dead? No, it's not. No, it's not. Be careful. Okay. Okay. LMG. LMG. Our super duper weak LMG. Come on. There we go. I mean, it's only weak because we haven't pack a punched it. We, we've invested all of our money into the RGL. The way we're farming mimics is by going to infested strongholds. These are guaranteed to spawn mimics. In the higher tier zone you are, the more mimics that spawn. Oh my. Is that a real person or is it? What the? Oh. That's a mannequin. All right, Mimics. Oh, I, st I don't know. I still don't have a gas mask. I still don't have a gas mask. Are the Mimics up top? Okay, I just made a big deal about these guaranteeing Mimic spawns, and now I don't see one. Hello? Okay, there we go. Okay, I promise I'm not a liar. There's a Mimic. Oh, 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 oh. What are you gonna do? Oh, 250 kills! Pathosis unlocked. So there's one camo for the RGL, which is actually the only base camo. Now all we have to do is get 100 kills in Xville with it, and we'll have Gold Enigma unlocked on the RGL. The RGL has some of the easiest requirements out of any weapon. You just have to rank it up to level four, get 250 kills, and that gets you the base challenge. Then you got to get 100 kills in Xville, and then it's gold. Uh, but where'd that Mimic go? Where did that Mimic go? Hello? Oh, oh, that's unfortunate, Mimic. Oh, no. Oh, no. Having, having a little trouble walking there? Oh, no. Step Mimic, stop. We'll take care of that. I think it's finally time. Let's enter the tier three zone with the RGL. There's no going back now. Yeah, now that we're here, we need to get that tier three pack pronto. Pronto. Oh, where's Pack-A-Punch? Where's the Pack-A-Punch machine? Ah, bye-bye, dog. Where, dude, where, where's the pack? I can't. Is there no? Hello? Oh, it's right there. Oh, thank you, Step M. Thank you. Pack-A-Punch, here I come. Uh-huh. So I've never actually gone to this Pack-A-Punch location. So I guess we just climb up here. Oh, put it in, put it in. Tier three, fully maxed out RGL. Let's see what damage this bad boy can do. Oh, that is a lot of zombies. So here we are. This is the tier three zone. Let's see how much damage it can do in the tier three zone. Um, whew. that is, that is surprisingly good. Uh, if you've ever been in the tier three zone using your normal weapons, um, you know, this might be the best weapon I've used so far. This does not care. It doesn't care. It doesn't matter how many. It just doesn't care. It doesn't care. It doesn't. Okay. Um, I think it's safe to say that this rocket launcher is a little bit good. Uh, it's definitely not a bad weapon. But you know what we haven't tried this against? Uh, I kind of want to try this against a mega abomination. Uh, because why not? Why not? <gasps> no way. Okay. I got a refined ethereum crystal. So now I can spawn it with a tier two pack, baby. Oh. 
Dude, that is so pretty. All right, bye zombies. While we're here, we should probably go ahead and get a perkaholic because why not? We got extra money on us. So I'll buy this. I'll buy that. A little bit of everything. Oh, there's a mangler. And oh, okay. Well, it doesn't do a ton. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It, it, um, Oh, now he's turned. It does some damage to the mangler, but it's not insta-kill. But now that we've got all of our perks, it's abomination hunt time. And there's an abomination. A mega abomination. Okay, we should probably wait for him to open his eye. So open your eye. Come on. Come on, let me see them beautiful eyes. Let me see them beautiful eyes. Oh, and I'm low on ammo. We gotta make our shots count. Oh, no, he's about to blast us. Okay, oh, we got ammo. Uh, let's lay down for a second. All right, you and me. Okay, I gotta wait for him to open his eyes. I've got to wait for him to open his eyes. All right, can we hit his eye? I feel like if we can actually hit his eye, we can do a lot of damage, but it's gonna take a little bit of aim. Okay, so it might be good at taking out zombies, but it's really not all that for taking out the Mega Abomination. It's not doing too much. All right, uh, excuse me, guys. I'm gonna need to hit up this buy station. I like to get some plates. I like to get a jug. I like to get some self revives. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, look at it. It just one shot that Abomination. It also only had one health, but uh, yeah. Oh, hi, Mimic. Oh, well, um, yeah, if we're going to farm Mimics, I don't think we can use the RGL to weaken them anymore because now that it's max upgraded, uh, it kind of just makes them go bye-bye. Oh, Spore gone, Spore gone. Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. Let me do, let me do. Oh, my. Yep, 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 yep. Ugh, goodbye. Oh, oh, and now we got a bunch of zombies, but no big deal. Uh, we'll just hoard them up in the middle, and goodbye. 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 Oh, goodbye. Just a few more mimics. All right, wherever the mimics are in here, I need you to come out. Nope, that's a zombie. Oh, there he is. Um, I don't have any ammo. Oh, there's two of them. I don't have any ammo. I don't have any ammo. I don't have any... Oh, and I turned them. Um... No. Oh, a little bit of mimic v. mimic action going on here. Oh, my mimic wins. Oh, Burned Metropia unlocked. Yeah, I, I read that correctly. So that's done. So now we have a little bit of a dilemma here. Both of these weapons are ready to get the gold Enigma camo, meaning we've got to get 100 kills in Xville, but it only counts for the weapon you're currently holding. So we can only get the gold camo for one of these this game, which is my least favorite part about the gold Enigma. I hate how you have to Xville with it because it really limits what you can do in a single game. You can't just automatically move on to the next challenge. You got to leave and then come back. Hello? There's just a floating fireball. Is this like, oh, okay, Hellhound, you, you just, you just take your sweet time. We'll be ready when you are. I'll, I'll, I'll come back. You take your time. You, you can chase after me and growl at me and, and do your whole spill a little bit later. Oh, I know how I can use the bathroom. I got to be quick though. All right. We're going to do what I like to call a quick bathroom trick. So we're going to go into this. All right. All right. And then we're going to come up here. We're going to pull our shoot. I'll be back. I'll be back before I hit the ground. Oh, shoot. Uh, I don't want to fly out of zone. I do not want to. Okay. That could have been real bad. Actually, that could have been like real freaking bad. Okay, so face us this way. A few moments later. No, 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 I'm back. I'm back. Hold on, hold on. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, 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 oh. It worked. Whew. By a few seconds, it worked. Oh, wait, wait, no. It's revenge time. Here's the convoy again. Now we've got the max out version against the convoy. Okay, let's see if it's made any difference whatsoever fully max. No, it really doesn't. It doesn't matter how much you max out the RGL. It doesn't do any more damage to the V. Maybe it does. It's kind of frying them, actually. I mean, I don't think there's any other weapon in the game you could have taken down an entire convoy that quickly. I really don't think there is. Hold on, one vehicle left. Okay, so maybe I'm wrong. This this is pretty pretty insane when it comes to uh, being anti-convoy. Now for the ultimate test. Let's test it out at an exfil location with a bunch of zombies. That's a lot of zombies, but not enough. Let's start the exfil and let's get it. Let's get a few more zombies here. You know, we need a lot of zombies for our target practice test. Let's just uh, let's just get the maximum amount. Yeah, come on, zombies, come on, come on. Uh, at this point in time, we're officially zombie hoarders. This is uh, we, we this is all we do. We just we get them together and we we flock them like sheep. What is a group of zombies called? You know how it's like a, a flock of sheep and you've got like you know different names for animals when there's a bunch of i guess i guess it's a horde of zombies you know you know i answered my own question i feel like we've already we've already decided what that is all right i think this is the max amount of zombies you can get in one area because i don't really see any more spawning in so i guess let's just um see if they can go away oh yeah only took a couple of shots and all of them are gone. I wish we could tell exactly how many kills that was, but without a kill counter, you really can't. Oh no, all the zombies respawned. I guess we could just 
dude, the blast range on this is ridiculous. You know, you could be really annoying. If someone was trying to farm kills at an exfil location, you could just sit from atop up here and you could probably steal every single one of their kills by just spamming this. Just everything they do. You could just steal every little kill. Wait for me, I want on the exfil. And no. Uh, at least we got the zombie off. I'm really glad there's not PvP in this mode. There's some people who want PvP in Modern Warfare Zombies, but just imagine if there was PvP in this mode and there was people with maxed out pack-a-punched grenade launchers who were able to just spam this around the map. PvP would not work in this mode, not just because people would be toxic, but pack-a-punched weapons in PvP um is it would be a nightmare it, it would be you yeah you would have teams of six people running around doing what i'm doing right now but uh hunting people which would uh you know that would not lead to a fun experience well not for the people dying to it, it it'd be kind of fun for the people running around with the rgl it'd be it'd be a little bit fun for them so many zombies so many zombies we can just mortar mortar from up here uh we only needed to get 100 kills before he exfilled but i think we've probably got close to a thousand so uh yeah I, th I think it's time we head out of here we've got more than what we came for but i was having a lot of fun using this bad boy oh no zombies in the exfil plane oh not a big deal not a big deal don't worry teammate i got you oh let me on the plane Ooh, here I know, some RGL shots. All right, we should be good as long as we don't crash between now and the time we get out of here. We should have gold. We should have gold. We should have gold. Fingers crossed if it doesn't bug out. Okay, how many kills do we manage to get messing around with the RGL? How many kills do we get? 865, so not quite a thousand, but still a large amount of kills. Come on, give me gold. Give me gold. Give me gold. Please don't bug out. Give me that gold camo. Okay, I see a lot. Is there gold? Is there gold? There it is. Golden Enigma. Can you inspect this gun, please? The, the one I with the giant giant sack on it. Bro, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I don't know if I want to touch that. This weapon has the biggest sack, I think. Okay, all right. I'll do it. All right. Let me, let me, in, let me inspect this. Oh, you know, this is why you get the rank you do in rank play is because of weapons like this. This is why you're forever bronze, bro. That, that is a bronze weapon if I've ever seen one. I know, I know. I've said this every video, but I absolutely love the Golden Enigma camo. Even after unlocking the Interstellar camo for multiplayer, you know, I don't think this is better, but this camo just looks so clean. It just looks so classy, so fancy on weapons. Uh, but now we can actually go ahead and unlock Zircon scale for this. Since there's only one rocket launcher in the Modern Warfare 3 category, as soon as we unlocked Golden Enigma for this, uh, we meet the requirements to get Zircon scale, which is 300 kills while pack a punch, which is going to be an absolute breeze. On top of that, we can go ahead and get Golden Enigma on this bad boy. We've got to get 100 kills and exfil with this weapon in our hands. And doing that should unlock us two more mastery camos at the end of this game. Knock on wood if it doesn't bug out. Wait a minute, I can help this team. This team's being shot by the plane. Yes, come on, hit the shots, hit the shots. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not hitting it. And it's not even pack-a-punch, so it's not going to do a ton of damage. Oh, well... Well, well, hi there. I'm just gonna hit you ride with this other team. No idea where they're going, but uh, wherever they're going, I'm going. Hi. How are you? So how's the weather? You know, I never got that because if you're asking someone in person, how's the weather? I mean, shouldn't you both know? Oh, there's my team. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Yep, yep. Yeah, there's my ride. And there's my money. So pro tip, if you want to save your money between you and your squad, if you give all of your money to one person, then you have them die with Tombstone and then they back out. Next game, they can go back to their Tombstone location and they get to keep all of their money. So if you give that person all of the money on your entire team, when they spawn back in, they're going to have a crap ton of money if you had a bunch of stuff from last game. And it is such an easy way to keep your stuff between games. And that's honestly the best part about Tombstone is just being able to keep all that stuff because now we're back in game and we have enough money to go ahead, pack a punch pretty much everything we got them racks on us racks on racks on racks on racks is that another convoy they they up the spawn rate for these those were so hard to find when i was trying to do the challenge we have seen like six or seven of those in this video alone i don't i don't know why but there's convoys everywhere today everywhere okay i'm really not looking to fight any enemies here i'm just looking to get to this pack a punch and i'm looking to get out yeah you only get your three play back if you have it stowed but if you get to keep all of your money then it, it doesn't really matter because you can use that money to buy back a three play so no perks, no pack a punch, no three plates. Yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna have a real fun time entering the old town. I've heard of this road. Okay, I got some decoys. Gotta be quick. All right, quick perky, quick perky. That's like a clicking simulator right there. I feel like you should be able to buy weapon rarity upgrades. Like if I want to make my weapon orange, I should be able to pay money for that. Mm, quick little ladder. All right, let's see how quickly I can pack a punch these weapons. So oh, there we go. And there we go. Nice, fast, and easy. Mm -hmm. 
Excuse me, abomination. Don't really want any beef right now. Just want to be at the buy station. Okay, in and out, quick operation. Where's that three plate? I don't see it, I don't see it, I don't see it. No! My hand's not on the right keys on my keyboard. Bro, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Just keep spamming. Just keep spamming. Now that we've pack a punch the RGL, we've got to get 300 kills to be able to unlock the Zircon camo. And yeah, we could go to an Xville and kill the tier one zombies, but where's the fun in that? Why don't we just get 300 tier three zombie kills? Because that's not extra. I wish there was an Xville in the tier three zone. Could you imagine an Xville in the tier three zone? I mean, this RGL, this is only blue tier, and it is still just farming these zombies in the tier three zone. Like, I, I could easily get all 300 kills here. Wait, get 100 kills with purchased wall by weapons? I spawned in with both of these. These are not wall by, you know, game's giving me calling cards I shouldn't have. At no point in time did I purchase a wall buy at all today, but uh, it's not gonna stop the game from giving me some calling cards. Uh, there's a Megaton. Unfortunately, RGL ain't gonna touch that. Or it's not a Megaton, it's an abomination, dude. The fact that they call it a Mega Abomination just gets me confused with Megaton because they start with the same now. So I refuse to take any blame for calling it the wrong name. A thousand percent of the blame falls on Treyarch. I take no personal responsibility. Oh, a spore area in the tier three zone. Ooh, never done one of these before. Let's see what kind of rewards we can get. On RGL, speed it up, speed it up. Oh, there's two layers to this. Oh, and there's just a, there's a ton of this. This might have been a bad idea. This might have been a bad idea. This might have just been a little bit of a bad idea. Let me out. Come on, Mangler. Come on, Mangler. Come on, Mangler. Come on, Mangler. Please don't smack me. Ah! Come on, get on the tank, get on the tank, get on the tank. Okay, I might need help with a disciple. My gun's not very good at hitting flying targets. Oh, that's a lot of zombies you got there, Doc. It'd be a shame if someone just, you know... Oh, an epic... A I'll take that. We are riding this escort so well. This is honestly probably the best I've ever ridden an escort. I am out of ammo, however. It is fun in games until your ammo supply runs low. Oh, that's a lot of zombies. I can see why this might be a rather difficult one. Ah, dude, we're good until I run out of ammo. We're good until I... The second I run out of ammo, we might we might run into some issues. Everybody going to the party gun. Ooh. Oh, there's zombies. Not for long. Clearing the path. Yep, just clear the path. This is the last one or we got one more? We finish it? Okay. Yes, sir. So yeah, that's pretty much the hardest mission you can do in this game is the tier three version of the escort. But uh, we absolutely demolished that escort like it was nothing. Mainly because of the RGL. And for doing all that, here is our reward. Yay, some perks and napalm bursts. Whoo, so worth it. Someone needs help. Bust rescue player i'm coming bud no one left behind except for docs <laughs> oh, but i got you i got you i got you i got you you have a go on <gasps> we got it we got the best friend hellhound companion we got the decorated master i just completed all the mastery challenges but let's go baby that's why you always carry some rotten flesh on you okay exfil time let's quickly finish up the rest of these 300 pack-a-punch kills this should be an absolute breeze get on top of the rock pride's rock and now we just mortar upon the hordes and waves of zombies coming towards us oh pet dog kill Whoa, oh did someone throw down a decoy holy crap all right so many zombies just carnage carnage on the field oh that's so many does a dog make zombies go around it like a monkey bomb because there's no one near me but the they're just hoarding up they poured up around the dog huh yeah they do oh wait it has health though eventually the dog dies oh no. just zombies as far as the eye can see and now explosions as far as the eye can see dude this dog is so good for this because he's straight up just hoarding them up together for me what a w companion Ooh. oh zircon scale unlocked there we go that is our third set of zircon scale on this account, we've got snipers, we've got shotguns, and now we have the rocket launchers as well. Unfortunately, uh, at this point in time, we can't grind any more camos for the RGL in this video because now we have to get every weapon in the entire game Zircon scale. But we can get Golden Enigma on this LMG. For that, we've just got to get 100 kills and Xville. Oh, wow. Okay, I was about to say this LMG slaps, but I forgot it's tier three pack and we're in a tier one zone, so it better slap. Oh, that's the guy we helped out earlier. Hello, good sir. Fancy you to join us at this Xville. Insta kill! Just keep shooting, just keep shooting, just keep shooting, just keep shooting, just keep shooting. Shooting intensifies, shooting intensifies, shooting intensifies. Well, I could probably get 100 kills with a single insta kill. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh, oh, put the bullets in the gun, put the bullets in the gun, put the bullets in the gun. Don't worry, buddy, I got you. I'll save you from the giant horde behind you. Yeah, we, we might have already got 100 kills with this. Zombie, 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 zombie. Now we look for the shmeat on the ground. Should be a ton of shmeat. Shmeat, 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 shmeat. 
So we're currently doing a side quest and taking a detour from the camel grinding. There is a calling card for selling a hundred pieces of chunks of flesh to buy station. So while we're getting kills, I'm just legitimately grabbing this, selling it so we can slowly make progress on that calling card because I do plan on getting all of the mastery calling cards for this game. So we're currently doing a little bit of shmeat hunting before we exfil. Sell the shmeat. There we go. Oh, collect 25 chunks of flesh at buy station. So one fourth of the way there. All right, fill me up with a shmeat. Yeah, good, good luck petting him, bro. He's in, he's in kill mode. Oh, I got to reload. That's not a good, this is not a good time to reload. Okay, please tell me I got the Enigma camo for this. We definitely got more than 100 kills. We probably ended up with close to 500 kills with that bad boy. Come on. Okay, 1,168 kills that game. That's a good chunk of kills. All right, come on. Let's see the camos. Oh, I can't even see what's going on. Oh, that calling card, calling card. Oh, I only see, I only see. No, I don't think we got it. No. No, we got it. It just did. Okay, we got it. We got it. It's here, baby. Here's the Golden Enigma camo on the PKM. Looks good as always. Then we've got Zircon scale on the RGL. This is the Plague Diamond equivalent. Doesn't, I mean, it doesn't look bad, but I kind of like the uh, this camo a little bit better. With that, guys, pretty much to wrap it up. Yes, the RGL is extremely good in Modern Warfare Zombies. It just absolutely demolishes everything you throw at it, except for the Mega Abominations. It wasn't too great against that. If you want to see any more weapon testing where you fully max out the weapon and test it against a bunch of different bosses or any more camo grinding for Modern Warfare Zombies, make sure to unlock that subscribe button and let me know what weapon you want to see us max out next. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.